What you can't see from the sky is that almost all of these huts are empty. Some people have run into the bush. Others have made it to these blue and white tents. Sylvan Cotoseri was shot on his way here. He says armed men burned his house, killing his brother and father. What they did was senseless. There was no reason for them to do this to me. The children were hungry, so I went to get potatoes for them in the farm. That's when they shot at me. There are now more than 40,000 people here in this remote northern town, mostly Christians, sleeping in the grounds of Bosangoa's cathedral. This is the Oruno family. They walked 25 kilometers to get here today. They say they can't go back to their farms and their livelihoods because of the fighting in the area. The UN says it can't cope with new arrivals. Four out of 10 people in this camp do not have the basic necessities. People keep coming because they're afraid of revenge attacks by former rebels known as Selika. They are mainly Muslims. They backed a coup in the country eight months ago. In September, Selika was attacked by a group called Anti-Balika, which means anti-machete in the local language. On the other side of town, Muslims are hiding in a school. They accuse men from Anti-Balika of targeting them. Muhammad Idris says they killed his father. He's now looking after his family of 20. My message to these people is they may want to retake power, they may want to get back in government, but they need to spare civilian lives. This has become a complicated conflict with armed groups killing for political and sometimes religious reasons. The UN says more of its workers on the ground could reassure people enough to go home, but it needs more money and resources. People here have been in many respects forgotten, uh, but I think certainly the United Nations stands for the rights of children, the rights of women, uh, and we have an obligation not to abandon this country. There is a sense the world is taking notice of pictures like these. The UN Security Council is expected to agree to a new UN-led peacekeeping mission, but it's unclear how much power it will have to end this cycle of fighting and running.